Hi everyone, this is Father Daniel and welcome to the Pine Mission Center in Detroit. Thank you for joining us today. Today we are talking about conversion. The painting I chose today is the conversion of Mary Magdalene. Probably you know this painting as Martha and Mary, but in Italy we know it as the conversion of Mary Magdalene. Caravaggio is the painter of reality. He portrays the reality as he sees it. Try to think about it. Before Caravaggio, we had great artists like Michelangelo, but they didn't paint the reality. They painted their idea of reality. Picture yourself into the Sistine Chapel and you will see clouds and angels Actually, you will see an idea of faith. Caravaggio brings us back into real life. He brings the faith into the real world and he looks at the world as it is, as you see it. Let's take a look at the painting. So first of all, as you can see, in this painting, there is no background. Caravaggio is focused on the characters. We can divide this painting into parts. On the right, we have Mary Magdalene. And on the left, we have Martha. Caravaggio obscures the stage, and in this way, he creates an artificial cone of light which illuminates a chosen point, just as a spotlight. And this is something interesting, because the big question is, who is the light? And the light is Jesus. In the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The light is shining on Martha's shoulder and her hands, and Mary's face and chest, and her hands too. What Caravaggio is telling us, actually, is that Jesus is the light of the world, and he is the one who converts the hearts. Let's take a look at Martha's hands. She's trying to explain to Mary all the reasons why she came to believe. And you can count that on her fingers. But Mary Magdalene, she is not looking at her. She is looking behind her. Another interesting thing is that Martha's face is in the shadow. Only her shoulder is lit. This means that conversion actually is an inner process. It is something that happens into your heart. We see the others, we see their faith, but actually we don't see their face. We see only the shoulder. This means that the protagonist of conversion is only Jesus. Mary Magdalene didn't believe because of Martha but because of Jesus. In this picture, Caravaggio is painting the exact moment when Mary Magdalene came to believe. Another interesting detail is the flower that Mary Magdalene is holding in her hand. In Italy, this flower is called the Zagara, and the Zagara is the flower of waiting. And in Italy, when we say fiori d'arancio, orange flower, we are talking about a wedding. So what we are seeing here right now is a wedding. In this wedding, Jesus is the groom and Mary Magdalene is the bride. Yes, Jesus loves us as a groom loves his bride. Mary Magdalene came to believe and actually this flower bloomed 
in her chest. If you see the flower, is next to her heart. But this flower is not just a flower, because in the Christian tradition, the flower is Jesus himself. It's the fulfillment of Isaiah 11, 1. A shoot shall sprout from the stem of Jesse. In Hebrew, this word shoot is the nezeh, and Jesus is the nazorayos. Try to think about it. Every time you see a statue of St. Joseph or St. Anthony of Padua, they have a flower in their hand. That flower is the Nazareth, is Jesus. Jesus was from Nazareth, and the word Nazareth itself comes from Nazareth, which is the flower, the plant, the shoot. This painting was commissioned to Caravaggio from Cardinal Del Monte. And I think Cardinal Del Monte believed that Mary Magdalene and Mary, the sister of Martha, were the same person. In the Christian tradition, Mary Magdalene was a sinner and she is portrayed as a prostitute. In this painting, we can see some signs on the right, there is a green veil, and this veil looks like a serpent. You can see a mouth, and you can see the eye of the serpent. And from his mouth, you will see on the table a comb and face powder. The comb and the face powder are a sign of her previous life. On the right, you find a mirror, and in this mirror, there is the reflection of light, and it's a square. The light reflects on the mirror in the shape of a square. You can find the same square if you connect Martha's and Mary's gaze, the flower, and the reflection itself. Jesus is in the midst. Martha is wearing a simple dress, while Mary is dressing as a bride. And you can see even a ring on her ring finger. Martha came to believe. Her past is gone. She welcomed Jesus in her heart, and Jesus bloomed. She is dressing as a bride and she wear a ring, the nuptial ring. If you look at Mary's stomach, it appears as if she is pregnant. This is a sign of the fruitfulness of conversion. Once you come to believe, you are a new creation. And Mary Magdalene is pointing at the light. She is pointing the reflection. She is pointing at Jesus. Mary Magdalene came to believe, and if you look at her finger, she is pointing to the light. She is pointing to Jesus. She became the apostle of the apostles. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.